From the Virgil, a production of the ANA Media Group and Consider It Done Productions. Award-winning, aging, and awesome. Here are your hosts, Kai Sisson and Aaron Green. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Aging and Awesome. You know, it's so nice to have a live studio audience. Isn't it? You know, we have got a lot to get to tonight. Coming up, we'll talk access to mental health care here in Northern Nevada, how it can be challenging, but the resources available with Reno Behavioral Health. And a little later, we'll take a trip in my cab and celebrate a few of you. But first, we're gonna take a trip through Reno history as seen through the lens of award-winning photojournalist Marilyn Newton. Now, you may not recognize her face, but if you've lived here very long, I'm gonna bet that you have seen her work because she worked with the Reno Gazette Journal and the Reno Evening Gazette for five decades and seriously never missed an important shot. It's incredible to think about how many events she has documented here in Northern Nevada, how many photos she's taken, and how young she was when she got bitten by the shutter bug. Have a look. You started off in news at the age of 12, right? At the age of 12 in 1957. And it didn't take her long to make her mark in history. Well, my mother was the circulation manager for the Nevada Appeal in Carson, and she needed paper boys. Only nobody applied. So my twin sister and I got drafted, which made us among the very first paid paper girls in the whole country. So I had that going for it. But I showed an interest in it, so my editor, publisher, editor, Neil Van Sui, let me write my first story at 12 for publication, and I shot my first photo with little brownie archive camera at 13 for publication. She followed her instincts and she followed those willing to teach her on the job. To me it was a great way to do it because you're talking to people that are already doing it and they could give you some good hints on what to do and what not to do and I just listened to everybody and then built my own style around that. Back then she was the only lady photographer at the paper but she had an ace in her pocket with her father. But I have one distinct advantage, and I'll be very truthful about that. My father was a Carson City cop. Well, when I came over here, he introduced me to the Reno police chief and the Sparks police chief. So it really helped me. It really did. Having my father as a cop really helped. Make no mistake about it, she learned quickly, and her competitive spirit helped her with these shots on pretty much everything she ever went after. You gotta be right on top of it. If you wanna get a good photo, you gotta be there and, and get it and do what you have to do to get it. That in with the cops, it got her photos like this. They'd let me get as close as possible without getting hurt. In fact, this shot was nominated for a Pulitzer. This is the murder suspect in his pickup. He's westbound on 7th Street at Keystone and these three motor officers are trying to arrest him. And uh, by the way, this little part down here, that's my car. That's how <laughs> close I, and I was shooting the wide angle lens, so that's how close I was. Turns out she had a natural nose for news, and boy, she had the drive to run things down too. I wanted to be everywhere all the time, and I was for the most part. She's won more than 400 state and national awards for breaking news, features, and sports. From politicians, and this is another interesting, that's President Johnson. <laughs> so what year was this? 63 or 64. Wow. Robert Kennedy. Kennedy. He was at Pyramid Lake, working on the treaty with the Pyra Pyramid Lake Indians. Wow. I've met every president since Johnson. To breaking news. This was... Was it the, the air plane, races? At the air, when the plane crashed into the stands. Here's another good one. 97 flood. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. From entertainers. Beach Boys. Oh my. Where were they playing? Down at, it was the state building then, now it's a Pioneer Center. Okay. But I ended up dating Denny Wilson, who was engaged to him for a bit of. You were? Yep. To community events. That's from the air races. The oh. Thunderbirds, where two jets look like one. Wow. I 
like in the Thunderbirds, you know. I've always loved this one. Oh, look at that. And get this, she's 77, and she's still the official photographer for the great Reno balloon races, the air races, and the rodeo. Yeehaw! And you may not realize this, but she is also putting together a book of her famous photography. She absolutely should. Yeah. She's got a lot. Thank you, Brain. Now don't you go nowhere because we have a lot more to get to. We can all do better at taking care of our mental health during these trying times. Reno Behavioral Healthcare Hospital is here to show us how. And of course, we reconvene with Aaron Breen after this message from our friends at the Medicare store. Stay tuned. Aging and awesome. We'll be right back. Hello, my name is Calvin Bagley, founder and CEO of the Medicare Store. I'm going to share with you a unique career opportunity where you can help people every day and also have a great life. Let me start by explaining that Medicare is federal health insurance for people over the age of 65 or those who are permanently disabled. Most people falsely believe that Medicare will cover everything, but that is not the case. This is where we come in. The Medicare Store helps people get full coverage and gives them peace of mind knowing that they can afford great health care. We provide an exceptional service to our communities while also creating an incredible lifestyle and a lucrative career opportunity for the agents who work with us. When you can change someone's life every day and make a great living doing it, you know you have found a career that is filled with purpose. One of our core values is team equals family. And the Medicare store is one big family. I love this company. I mean, there's a reason why I recruited a few of my friends. The Medicare store has so many great values, but one of them is family. And we are literally a family company even because there are many people that work here that are actually related to each other. Their spouses, there's a mother and a son, a father and a daughter, husband and wife. So there's different iterations of this. And this creates a culture you will rarely find, well, anywhere. I don't think I could ever go back into the corporate world because they really don't value family. And when you're your own agent, obviously you make your own schedule, but being a part of the Medicare store, it's like your second family. My very favorite thing about this job and this company is that family is first. And they not only say it and believe it, but they live it. So everybody's family oriented and understands that your kids and your family and your family life are priorities. There is so much more to what we do and who we are. You can learn more about us on our YouTube channel or our website. You can also look us up online or on social media to see what our clients say about us. Because of the demand for the great services we provide, the Medicare store is growing, and we are looking for hardworking, motivated people who will share our values and contribute to our culture, and will have a passion for helping people. You know, springtime is amazing, isn't it? It's the time of year that the grays of winter come to life with color. The trees, the bushes, the flowers, they all go from looking dead to full of life again, all because of color. And there's just something about the return of color to our lives that seems to lift the spirit, doesn't it? In fact, Lee Hunt once said, colors are the smiles of nature. I love that. <laughs> And I think color is important to incorporate in everything that we do. It shows our style, our mood, our own character. Some people actually present themselves as, say, an eight crayon box. I am definitely a deluxe box of 64. You know, the one with the sharper in the back. <laughs> and if you are constantly coloring your stories, your encounters, your versions of life with grays, people pick up on that. As Henry David Thoreau once said, the world is but a canvas to our imagination. Something to keep in mind absolutely every day, I think. Because life is like a rainbow. You need both rain and sun to make its colors appear. Now that's actually an anonymous quote, but it is so true. Every day we encounter both ups and downs, and it's actually up to us how we color those events to ourselves and also in our own minds and outwardly to others. So be mindful about that rainbow that you're broadcasting to yourself and to others. It's a lot like the words that we use to describe things. 
We can all make things seem just a little bit worse than they really were, or we can paint them a little bit better. It's all up to how we frame things or how we color them. Because a rainbow is a part of nature, anyone can see it, but you actually have to be in the right place at the right time to see it clearly. That was said by Gilbert Baker. Now, are you seeing your own rainbow? Is that what you want others to see you as? And are you coloring with all the colors that you like? I do hope so. Because as Wes Adamson said, life can be just black and white. But with just a little bit of imagination, life is a kaleidoscope of exhilarating colors and breathtaking adventures. So here's to a colorful spring and a lush summer for us all. For Aging and Awesome, I'm Erin Breen. Reconvene with Erin Breen is presented by the Medicare Store. The Medicare Store is local and gives free, unbiased, personal Medicare advice. Visit the Medicare Store today. Life is story. Pages of amazing adventure and narrow escapes. Bold steps taken, races run, chapters on love and hard lessons and new beginnings. Your life, your legacy, our privilege to serve. Morningstar Senior Living. Do you or a loved one live in a nursing home? Do you know that you have rights? All residents have rights guaranteed by the Federal Nursing Home Reform Law. They include the right to be treated with dignity and respect, to privacy, and to develop a comprehensive plan of care with the staff. Other rights include the right to be fully informed about care and treatment options and to file grievances. There are protections in case of involuntary discharge or transfer. Know your rights. For more information about residents' rights or questions or concerns, contact your long-term care ombudsman program. They are advocates that promote and protect the rights of residents in licensed long-term care facilities. Visit www.theconsumervoice.org for more information. That's www.theconsumervoice.org. Theconsumervoice.org. Have we forgotten how difficult it is for older Nevadans to get to life-saving medical appointments? Have we forgotten how important connecting with others is? But what if you had neither? What would you do? The Nevada Rural County's Retired Senior Volunteer Program provides zero-cost transportation and companionship for older Nevadans in rural counties. Make a difference in the life of a senior in your community. Become a driver and friend for RSVP. The Better Business Bureau investigates and reports on scams that hurt consumers through the BBB Scam Tracker website. Here, some people share their stories and others educate themselves. And together, we empower our community. Aging and Awesome is proudly presented by Reno Regenerative Medicine. Do you experience joint stiffness, tingling, burning, numbness, back or neck pain? Have you been told drugs and surgery are your only options? Reno Regenerative Medicine empowers patients to heal naturally, avoid unnecessary drugs and surgeries, and get to the root cause of your pain. Reno Regenerative Medicine, located in South Reno and in Sparks, is ready to evaluate and help alleviate your pain so you can get back to doing what you love. Call family-owned Reno Regenerative Medicine at 775-218-9236. Welcome back to Aging and Awesome. Mental health has never been more talked about than it seems to be right now as we're all feeling world events are more and more in the forefront of our minds and realizing how talking to someone, taking that time could really help each and every one of us mentally. We're joined now by Dr. David Jenis of Reno Behavioral Healthcare Hospital in South Reno. Dr. Jenis, uh, thank you so much for coming on the show. Uh, such an important topic. Are you seeing more and more people coming in wanting to Absolutely. get help? So I think these past two years has been so challenging for all of us. Positive to note though, that we have seen an increase in our community members accessing care. And are you seeing an age difference? Is there an increase in maybe older people? Are you seeing differences in age? So, so access to care, particularly for mental health, for our senior care is, is something that I'm very, very passionate about because it's something that I feel goes underdiagnosed. Right. 
And, and so I think just by you inviting me today on your show and having the opportunity to speak about mental health and its impact on senior care is pivotal for opening up the conversation and I think decreasing the stigma for individuals in wanting to access mental health services. And when does a family member or a loved one or an individual know when it's time? So I think it's really important to just be mindful of signs and symptoms of how ourselves or a loved one may function differently from their baseline. If you're seeing drastic changes in one's mood, and one's joy for living and participating in activities that one used to really enjoy doing and, and you see a decrease in that. If they're often becoming a little bit more argumentative, maybe feeling a little bit more irritable. These are all signs that we just wanna hold in mind so that we can assess further and ask questions of our loved one to really determine if it's time if we need to seek out professional support. What are some coping skills maybe just two or three that folks at home might be able to, to use? That's a great question, Kai. So every morning when I wake up, I, with intention, think of self-talk. I, I wanna have a good day. And if I'm really struggling, I, I'm gonna, you know, partake in personal hygiene. I'm gonna take a shower and get dressed and leave my home and maybe run some errands and go to the grocery store. With intention, though, I'm thinking about the type of day I'm putting out into the, to the world, if you will how I want my day to go. I'm really a big believer on deep breathing. For me, deep breathing is a whole body physiological response. So taking four or five really deep breaths, I feel can really move us to a place of calmness where we feel more grounded and we're more emotionally, mentally, and socially ready to take on our day. Absolutely. That is so important for everybody, regardless of your mental Absolutely. health, to, to maintain your mental health, important to do. So Dr. Janis, how can people get in touch with Greeno Behavioral Healthcare? Yes, so we are a local provider and they can just call our main number at 775-393-2200 and that will go directly to intake and they can ask any questions and we'll navigate them through that whole process. And thank you for meeting this need in our community. We need your services. Thank you we so do. much for thank having Thank you very me. much. Appreciate thank it. Thank you. Season 8 of Aging and Awesome is right around the corner, and sponsorship opportunities are available now. The ANA Media Group is excited to welcome a familiar face, Marsha Rambo, to our team as our community stakeholder account executive. From Aging and Awesome to our PR and production services, the ANA Media Group tells your story like no one else can. Email Marsha at marsha at anamediagroup.com. Closed captioning for Aging and Awesome is brought to you by... At Reno Eye Institute, you'll get the attention you deserve from a doctor who cares. I came to Dr. Freeman because I needed cataract surgery. I needed it on both eyes, and Dr. Freeman was one of the few who could get me in right away. He cares about me, and I love him for that. You know, I can't say enough as to how well he takes care of you. At Reno Eye Institute, our focus is you. Now accepting new patients. Call Reno Eye Institute today at 4517268. Eden Home Health is Northern Nevada's highest rated home health for quality of patient care. You have a choice. Ask your doctor for the best in-home health care, Eden Home Health. And Eden Hospice. The personalized care team at Eden Hospice is dedicated to focusing on your loved one's quality of life during a difficult time. Eden Hospice's mission is to ensure dignity for every patient. Find out how Eden Hospice can help your family by calling 841-6123. Living at Lakeside Manor, an independent senior living community in the heart of Reno, means pleasure for the residents and peace of mind for their families. Rooms are available now, starting at $15.80 a month. Take a tour of Lakeside Manor today. Envy Legal Docs LLC, they are the Trust Masters, is a proud sponsor of Aging and Awesome, providing affordable wills, trusts, and estate planning document services. They are much different than your typical expensive law firm, offering flat fee pricing customized for each family. Having a trust is so important, and the Envy Legal Docs team will explain at their no cost, no pressure seminar. Book your spot today and give them a call at 775 683 3100. Living Trusts, don't leave Earth without one. Arbor's Memory Care is proud to have served seniors in Reno Sparks with Alzheimer's and other forms of dementia for over 20 years. At Arbor's, it's families supporting families. We offer a unique partnership between our family of compassionate caregivers and your family to care for your loved one. 
When you choose Arbors, you are partnering with a team of highly trained, compassionate professionals to provide the best care and quality of life possible. Our services are offered at one worry-free, all-inclusive fixed price. Let us welcome your loved one and family into the Arbors family. If you're 64 or 65 and newly eligible for Medicare, you only have a few months to enroll or you may incur a late enrollment penalty. By understanding Medicare now, you'll have time to get a full picture of the choices that are right for you. Join experts from Senior Care Plus for a free ABCs of Medicare seminar to learn about Medicare and the options available to you. Sign up at SeniorCarePlus.com or call 775-982-3158 today. Oh my goodness gracious. Hey everybody, welcome back to Aging and Awesome. You've watched the whole show all the way till Kai's cap and I'm glad you did because we have a familiar face, a contestant, a former feature of the show, Ruby Russell. Ruby, welcome. Thank you. It's so good to be here. <laughs> well, Ruby, we got a couple questions for you. So I don't know if we'll be friends after this. Shoot, so. <laughs> let us have it. I hope so. No, you're going to do great, Ruby. Get three out of four questions right today, and you're the winner of a fantastic prize. Some chocolate. Are you ready to play? Yes. Okay, here we go. Question number one. Brazil is the biggest producer of what? A, rice, B, oil, or C, coffee? Coffee. Brazilian coffee is correct. Yes. Ruby, good one. You knew that one. That was easy. But you're going to win this next question, okay? You're going to get it right. Okay. Question number two for Ruby. Which is the easiest way to tell the age of many trees? Is it A, to measure the width of the tree? B, uh, to count the rings on the trunk? C, to count the number of leaves? Or D, to measure the height of the trees? The rings on the trunk. To count the rings on the trunk. Yes, that's right. Yes. Correct, Ruby. See, look how easy this is. We can still be friends afterwards. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going to be friends no matter what. You're the sweetest. Okay, question number three. Third and final, get it right. Here we go. Which did Viking people use as money? A, rune stones. B, jewelry. C, seal skins. Or D, wool. Jewelry. Jewelry. Ruby is correct. Well, your name is Ruby. A jewel. Yes, right? I am a jewel. That's why I asked you that question. You got it right. Congratulations, Ruby. Uh, we're back here at the Virgil, uh, but I always like to ask everybody, you have 15 seconds to say anything to the world. What would it be? Agent on Awesome Ruby is awesome. The word needs to be spread because what you guys are doing is so informative. You're really helping people. I want to help you spread the word. Oh, that really, really means a lot. That Wasn't that sweet? Thank you so much. You get chocolate and a big hug when we get out of this bar. <laughs> I've All learned right. so much from you guys since I've started watching the show, so it's good. Thank you so much for saying that. That's our hope. That's why we do this. It takes a lot of work and a lot of people, but it means, it means something to someone, so it's worth it, right? I'm trying to spread your word. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you, Ruby. Let's get her some chocolate. Kai's Cab is presented by Senior Care Plus, the only Nevada-based, not-for-profit Medicare Advantage plan serving Washoe County, and Carson City, Senior Care Plus, for the healthiest reasons. Season eight of Aging and Awesome is right around the corner, and sponsorship opportunities are available now. The ANA Media Group is excited to welcome a familiar face, Marsha Rambo, to our team as our community stakeholder account executive. From Aging and Awesome to our PR and production services, the ANA Media Group tells your story like no one else can. Email Marsha at Marsha at ANA Media Group Com. Thinking about moving or downsizing? You should meet my good friend, Marsha Rambo, with Realty One Group Eminence. With over 35 years experience and specializing in helping older people, if you're looking for a home that better fits your lifestyle, Marsha is the right person for you. Thanks, Joe. I'm Marsha Rambo, and I'm a realtor. I'll help you find the right home at any stage of your life. Whether you're considering selling your home or making a purchase, give me a call at 775-395-9133. Together, we'll make a plan that will best work for you. Call Marsha today and tell her I sent you. <laughs> 
Hello, I'm Dr. Tammy from the TMJ and Sleep Therapy Center of Reno. There are so many issues you might be experiencing from jaw pain and headaches to snoring, sleepiness, and difficulty concentrating. We are the only TMJ specialist in Northern Nevada providing comprehensive TMJ and sleep apnea treatment. We're proud to offer same-day imaging to get you on a path toward relief from your symptoms. Our non-surgical TMJ treatments will help you breathe, sleep, heal, and most importantly, live better. Call to make your appointment today. Living at Lakeside Manor, an independent senior living community in the heart of Reno, means pleasure for the residents and peace of mind for their families. Rooms are available now starting at $15.80 a month. Take a tour of Lakeside Manor today. We are almost out of time, but we have some people to celebrate. Do you remember Jerry Villavincencio? Yes. Do you? Well, you know what? We did a little bit of a profile on him. He went through the SCORE program to start his own business. It's called Ardor Handyman. Well, you know what? He's doing great guns right now. He has had a temporary physical setback, but you know what? The business is very, very strong and it's growing and that is worth celebrating. Absolutely, and you might remember this woman too, Sheila Steele. She teaches a fit dance class in Carson City. Joe did a story with her last year and well, Sheila, she just turned 77 ah. years old. Happy, happy birthday to Sheila and thank you for all you do to keep people fit and moving in our community. We want to share with you a senior celebration coming up that you should put on your calendars. Thursday, May 12th from 8 a.m. to noon, the Senior Celebration Health Fair at the Casino Fandango is free to attend with lots of vendors and resources for our aging and awesome community. That's Thursday, May 12th from 8 to noon at Casino Fandango in Carson City, and it is free to attend and brought to you by some of our friends, including Eden Health, Nevada Rural County's Senior Volunteer Program, Nevada Aging and Disability Services, and the Alzheimer's Association. See you there. You know what, we congratulate you all. And we hope that those of you out there with something to celebrate will actually send those celebrations in to us here at agingandawesome at gmail.com. We thank all of you here at the Virgil, all of you at home, and those of you watching online. And of course, we need to thank our sponsors, our stakeholders who make this show possible. We couldn't do it without you. A big thank you to... Trustmasters. The Medicare Store. The Better Business Bureau. Eden Hospice and Eden Home Health. Nevada Rural County's Retired Senior Volunteer Program. Morningstar Senior Living of Sparks. Reno Regenerative Medicine. Lakeside Manor. Marsha Rambeau with Realty One Group Eminence. Nevada Aging and Disability Services Division. Reno Eye Institute. The TMJ and Sleep Therapy Center of Reno. Arbor's Memory Care. And Senior Care Plus. And before we go, Breen has a big announcement. I do, I'm off to Ireland. Oh, yay. One more time. I'll be there for six weeks this summer. My friend Paula's going with me. I'll take plenty of photos. Oh, we're so happy for you, Breen. Have a great time. We'll see you again Saturday, August 6th. We're taking a little summer break. That's for season eight of Aging and Awesome. But until then, on behalf of our cast and crew, thank you everyone for inspiring all of us at every age to be aging and awesome. Bye-bye.